What's up, guys? <clears throat> Welcome to another episode of Sharing the Gospel with Jesus Christ. It's been a little while. Um, I've had a lot of things going on in my life. Uh, me and my wife have, my whole family. But, uh, you know, I can't can't stop doing what I do for the Lord. just want to get back in here. And um, who better than to share it with than with you guys? And uh, first of all, I just want to say to all you who do know the situation of what's been going on in my family and have given us support and prayers, uh, just praise God for you guys. I thank you all, and God bless you. Uh, And uh, for those who don't know what's been going on in my family, uh, me and my wife, uh, we were expecting again, and uh, it didn't work out the way we planned, but it you know, God had another plan, and, um, you know, we uh, lost a child that we were expecting, but uh, we know that she is in heaven uh, waiting for us, and uh, so we're okay with that. Uh, it's hard, but God is faithful, He is true, He is good, and uh, so we're just going to trust Him today, and uh, we know He's faithful. We're going to trust Him today just like we trusted Him yesterday, and He got us through yesterday. And um, we're just going to pray that we be in His will daily, and um, and we can't go wrong with that. Uh, what I want to speak to you guys about today, though, but first of all, I just want to do. I just want to say thank you so much for your prayers, your support, for uh, being so kind to me and my family. The Lord has blessed us so much through the people, through His people that have been so good to us, and uh, just with peace and comfort that He's given us, and. Uh, wouldn't be able to make it through this that we've had to go through without the Lord. And, um, you know, this is a time of trial and a time in a valley, but uh, this is a time that I think this message comes in perfect, and that's why I want to share it with you all today. And the message, the title of the message is Forget Not His Blessings. And the Lord laid this on my heart. I may have spoke on this once before, but... Uh, you know, the Lord laid it on my heart again, and I feel the need to share it with you all today. And again, I said it's forget not His blessings. And uh, I'll start off with this right here. It says, And it shall be, when the Lord thy God shall have brought thee into the land, which He swear unto thy fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give thee great and goodly cities, which thou buildest not, and houses full of all good things which thou fillest not, and wells digged which thou diggest not, vineyards and olive trees which thou plantest not. When thou shalt have eaten and be full, then beware, lest thou forget the Lord, which brought thee forth out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. Thou shalt fear the Lord thy God and serve Him, and shalt swear by His name. You shall not go after other gods of the gods of the people which are round about you. For the Lord thy God is a jealous God among you, lest the anger of the Lord thy God be kindled against thee and destroy thee from off the face of the earth. Ye shall not tempt the Lord your God as as ye tempted him in Massa. Ye shall diligently keep the commandments of the Lord your God and his testimonies, and his statutes, which he hath commanded thee. And thou shalt do that which is right and good in the sight of the Lord, that it may be well with thee, and that thou mayest go in and possess the good land, which the Lord sware unto thy fathers, to cast out all thine enemies from before thee, as the Lord hath spoken. And this is Deuteronomy six ten through 19 and basically... What happened right here is, uh, you know, as God was uh, delivering His people, and uh, they were in, they were waiting to get to the promised land. Uh, they often they would grumble and they would complain and they would forget about the blessings that the Lord had already brought them through, and uh, about the trials that He had already helped them overcome. How He had already delivered them from Egypt, and you know, some of them went on to. Uh, worship other gods and to, uh, you know, not trust the Lord and to grumble and to uh, complain. And, you know, we've got, it's very important that we not do this. It's very important that we forget not the blessings the Lord has given us. 
uh, because, you know, we may come upon a trial today and it may seem like it's going to be the end of us. But we have to hold firm to the promise and to God's Word and to know that He is faithful and He will bring us through this trial just like He brought us through yesterday. Yesterday, when we faced a trial, or maybe not yesterday, uh, but you know, the last time you faced a trial and you thought, hey, I'm not going to be able to get through this, guess what? You got through it and it's, it's because of the Lord. And if some trial ever ends up being so great that it takes us out, then blessed are we still because God is still faithful and we have the promise of everlasting life in, in Him. So, you know, we can't forget the blessings that the Lord has given us. And uh, there was a couple things I wanted to talk about here. It talks about these two type of believers who have quickly forgotten about the Lord's blessings. And there's two types that have forgot. And I want to read about both of these real quick. Uh, I don't want to take much of your time. It says, The first type are the ones who've already crossed over and entered into the modern day land flowing with milk and honey. They've gone beyond the wilderness and have passed through to His promises, but yet have forgotten the many trials in the wilderness, the struggles in the desert land, and how the Lord delivered them from them all. They've forgotten what it took to reach the promised land and how there were times they thought they couldn't take another step, but the Lord picked them up and carried them through. They've forgotten the bread or the Word, that He fed them daily, and the water, or the Holy Spirit, that He gave them to drink and react as if this place where they are now, they made it there by their own doing. Never, never think that. Never think that where you are right now, if you're in a good place, and that, you know, if God has brought you to a good place in your life, and you are blessed, never think that you got there by your own doing, or you know, by your own power. If you are in a good place, it's because the Lord has allowed you to be there and has blessed you to be there. So don't forget to give Him praise and glory and honor for bringing you there. Uh, And it says, They've become focused now only on their goodly surroundings and have lavished themselves with great worldly possessions. They speak only of their success and not of the one who blessed them with the success. They would rather forget the dry and dry desert land they traveled through to get to the place they are now. But in their desire to forget, they've also neglected to remember who gave them the promise and who it was that delivered the promise. And this reminds me of, you know, how I went through panic attacks and anxiety attacks for, you know, so many years, for, uh, you know, 11 to 12 years. I went through that, not being able to travel, not being able to do things. Uh, and praise God, me and my wife, you know, we wanted to get out today and just get our minds off things. We went to the carnival and I was able to ride rides with her and stuff and, you know, things that I wouldn't be able to do before. And I give God the glory for that. You know, sure, uh, it's it's awesome now that I can do that, but I don't ever want to forget where the Lord brought me through because that is my life, that is my witness, that is my testimony, that is the trials that I will always remember that I know the Lord can speak to people and bring them through situations like that. And I'm thankful for the trials that I've went through in life. And, uh, you know, I've had two open heart surgeries. I went through all that panic and stuff for so long. And now with the loss of our child, and, you know, I know that everything happens for a reason. And I know that if I just stand firm and give God glory for all things, you know, that He's going to get me through and that He's going to turn these trials into something that can help someone else out and that will ultimately give Him glory and bring me to a better place tomorrow. And uh, so I just give God glory and praise for that. And uh, then now it talks. I want to talk about the second type. Uh, the second type, it says, is the most common and the one most of us all fall prey to. And uh, it says, if we are truly honest with ourselves. These are the ones who are still traveling through the wilderness and haven't quite reached the modern day land flowing with milk and honey, yet continue to cling to the hope and promise that they shall. Their trials seem endless, and as quickly as they receive the victory over one, they are troubled by another. They give praise and thanks to the Lord for seeing them through. However, somewhere upon treading the deepness of the valley, they become weary and tired, and all that can be seen are the difficulties of what lie before them and not the promise of what lies beyond them. Like the children of Israel. Now, I want to read that again because that's very important. All that, all right, uh, along the way somewhere you get so tired that all you can see 
are the difficulties that lie before you and not what lies beyond those difficulties. And uh, like the children of Israel, they forget about yesterday. They forget about the trials of, that the Lord has just brought them through, like I was saying earlier, just brought them through. They forget that if He was able to see them through once, He is able to see them through again and again. And if they are not careful to remember the goodness of the Lord, if they are not careful to remember the glory of the Lord that was manifest before them yesterday, if they are not careful to remember that beyond the valley there is a mountaintop, and never forget that, Beyond every valley is a mountaintop. Sometimes to get to that mountaintop, you have to go through the uh, valley, just like the song I'm listening to, The Mountain of God. Very good song. Sometimes to reach the mountaintop, you have to go through the valley. And uh, then su- <clears throat> it says, Then such will remain as the children of Israel did, wandering in the wilderness forever, seeking but never coming into the fullness of His promises. Now listen, brothers and sisters, let us not be as the first nor the second type. But let us be as our Lord commanded. Forget not His blessings. But in all things, let us give thanks and praise to the One who has promised to be with us even till the end of the age, to the One who spoke the word and delivered the promise, to the One who is faithful and true and who restores and mends that which has been broken, and to the One who will lead us through the valleys to the blessed peace place of rest. Jesus, the same yesterday, today, and forever. Forget not His many, many blessings. Now, this is this just really, you know, this is so important to not forget the Lord's blessings. Always give Him praise, glory, and honor. If you're going through a trial, you know, don't focus on this trial and, you know, I'm not going to be able to get through this. Focus on beyond the trial. And focus on yesterday, how the Lord got you through the trial you went through yesterday. And that the Lord is faithful and He will get you through this. And you can overcome this. And I want to thank Candy Lease. Uh, she's a daughter and servant of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, for I came across, uh, when I was looking for notes and stuff on this message that I wanted to deliver, I came across this. And she's put a lot of things in very good words. And I want to thank her. But above all, uh, I give... All glory and praise and honor to God. Uh, He is faithful. He will get us through the many valleys and trials that we go through. And He will, if we cling to Him, we will stand on the mountaintop with Him. And uh, I just thank you guys for watching. Uh, I just want to say congratulations to one of my brothers in Christ, Gabriel. uh, Just came into the family of Christ last night, actually. And uh, congratulations to you. Welcome to the family. And uh, if you don't know the Lord uh, as your Savior... If you don't know Jesus Christ as your Savior and the Lord of your life, you're missing out. I would just like to say, uh, you know, He is everything to me. And uh, He will be everything for you if you will let Him be. And uh, He wants to be your friend. He wants to be your Lord and your God. And He deserves uh, He deserves praise and honor and glory. And uh, He is so good, so faithful. I can honestly say... Throughout all of my life, all the trials, all the tribulations, I can stand here today being just buried my daughter two days ago and say I am a blessed man and that God is good. God is faithful. Because you know what? I have the hope and the promise that I will see my daughter one day. And, you know, I'll be with her in heaven one day with the rest of my family in Christ. And uh, so, you know what? What I'm trying to do, I've got to be on the ground full time. I can, uh, you know, this has got to be my main priority is getting people into the kingdom of God and that needs to be all of our main priority. Don't let the enemy uh don't let the enemy distract you with other things and uh always keep in mind above all uh give glory to God and just be always ready to share the love of Christ with somebody because you never know what someone's going through and uh you just never know when someone needs to hear just a kind word from you that could lead them to Christ. And that's the main thing. If you are a Christian today, the main thing is to try to bring another soul into the family of Christ because we don't want to see anybody lost. And uh, But I want to say God bless you all. Thank you all for your prayers, for your support, and for everything. I love you all. My family loves you all. They're not here. My wife would be telling you she loves you as well. She snuck in, snuck out. She, had to, she was at work and had to come in, come way back out. But, you know, y'all don't care about that. just want to say love y'all. Uh, we love you, Faith. We lo- and I love my baby, Rayleigh Grace. I love you, Lord. Thank you for everything. And if you don't know the Lord, and you see this video and you want to come to know the Lord, please send me a message. I'd be glad to pray with you. Uh, And if you have prayer requests, uh, please 
Con leave them in the uh, comments or send me a private message either way. And I'd be glad, me and my family would be glad to pray for you, pray with you, and pray you through this thing. And God is good. He is faithful. Jesus speaks peace all the time, guys. Love y'all. Till next time.